All right, guys, so if you're here for the first time, I have to say thank you so much for clicking on the video and wanting to watch this video. And I want to I want to ask you if you consider please hitting the subscribe bell, hitting the subscribe button and turning on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Don't worry, they don't have it. They don't happen often. I have my hands full with three kids, a house, a toddler, um, homeschooling and all that yes so don't worry you will not get bombarded with my videos on your feet on an everyday basis but if you are not new to my channel thank you so much for coming back and watching my video so let's go ahead and start i think i purchased from um sephora i purchased from amazon a lot i purchased from qvc and i think the last one i purchased was i'm trying to gather my stuff um, I think the last one I purchased was Ab Abercrombie and Fitch. Abercrombie and Fitch. Yeah, I think that was my, um, those were like my top stores. Oh, and I think I purchased like two things from Walmart actually. So I kind of wanted to share that with you guys. So those were like my top uh, stores that I purchased on this whole Amazon thing. Some things I will show you here. Some things I have them like on my bed or my kid's bed. So I will just pop a little picture of what I bought right about here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with this video. I don't want to keep this video longer. So I'm going to start with my Sephora haul. Oh, and I did a little bit of Nordstrom, I think. Anyways, I did a little bit of Sephora haul. Um, I just bought a few items that I kind of wanted to really test out, try it out. Um, because I don't know if you know, during this quarantine time, we were, um, Sephora was having their VIB sale. Um, so it was like 20, 15 or 10% off. And I was like, I can't pass that. Like, I really can't pass that. This happens, I think, twice a year. And I'm just like, I can't not pass that. Especially if I there's products that I want to try. I wanted to buy a whole bunch of things, but I kind of hold held myself because I wanted to show you. I mean, I wanted to buy stuff that I really, really enjoy. So I'm going to show you guys really, really quick um, what I bought when it came to makeup. So the first thing I bought um, was this uh hourglass this is the hourglass ambient i'm at so hopefully i'm saying it right is the um the hourglass ambient or something like that the hourglass ambient um foundation yeah it is a very dark color but right now at the moment i am tanning so i needed to get a very darker shade and i was dying to try this foundation i've heard so many amazing things about this foundation and i needed to try it so i ended up picking it up and at the moment guys i'm not mad of at it i don't hate it i just wish i would i think i'm gonna go ahead and buy a darker a lighter shade so i can mix it together because like i said right now i'm mixing with the bobby brown so it's kind of like you know okay so the next thing i bought um is the nars uh Ra creamy radiant concealer the Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS. This, this is the Ra NARS Radiant Concealer. I love this concealer. Um, although it doesn't cover as much, but it's just so, so creamy. It blends super, super well. And, and it does not dry out my under eyes, which is amazing. Um, the only downside to it is that I wish it had a little bit more coverage. But I love that it looks really, really natural. And it doesn't really make my face look like I am wearing a ton of concealer. Then the other thing I was dying... To try you guys i've never tried any charlotte tilbury products and i picked up the airbrush flawless finish uh powder which is this one right here i just love this little powder right here although i've only i think i've only used it for like a month or so but i love it although it does not like um brighten my under eyes i love the fact that it kind of tones it down and everything looks very even and that's what i kind of like love then the next thing I bought at Sephora was is the NARS um, Laguna Matte Bronzer. I've actually used this in the past, probably like 10, 15, 10, 12 years ago. And I just recently purchased it again because I love the perfect, perfect tan shade that this gives my skin. Um, I'm a very light skin and I just love the kind of like sun kiss, not orangey. And it's just the perfect tanner, tanning. Um, I'm sorry, it's just the perfect bronzer. And I absolutely love it. So the last thing I bought at Sephora, there were um, five things, yeah. It's also from Charlotte Tilbury. And I hear a lot of people rave about her, their, her lip liners, the, the lipstick, which is called Pillow Talk. And I've just heard a lot of people rave about it. So I ended up just picking up a lip liner because I have been obsessed with outlining my lips um, for the past year or so. And the color that I decided to pick on this Charlotte Tilbury is the Iconic Nude. It's just a beautiful, beautiful 
nude shade. So it's just a beautiful, beautiful nude shade. I feel like it looks perfect on um, light skin as well as dark skin. And I just love, 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 love that shade. All right, so the next thing that I purchased um, from uh, from, Nor from Nordstrom is the Marc Jacobs uh, Undercover, Undercover Blur Perfection Coconut Primer. This is the primer that I've been using for the past month or so. And I have to say, I love the scent and I definitely love how my skin looks when I use this primer. Um, I did end up picking up um, the foundation as well as the bronzer, but I ended up returning it because the foundation for me was just too on the cakey side, which is too heavy. It made my skin look like I was wearing a pound and a half of makeup. And I was just like, oh my God, this is just the foundation. So I ended up returning the foundation as well as the bronzer. And I actually just stayed with the Marc Jacobs primer. Uh, primer. Um, the other thing I actually ended up picking, but this was like an impulse buy because I just saw it and I saw a lot of people taking pictures of it and it looked just so cute as a flat, uh, as a add on and a flat lay. Um, don't judge. It's kind of an exp expensive buy, but I kind of wanted to have something on the high end side um, because I am starting like my high end collection and I kind of wanted to have things. But the one I picked up was the Chanel um, Le Cream Main. This is the Chanel um, cream, hand cream. It's just a beautiful egg. Um, and yeah, it was a splurge. It is a $50 um, lo lotion. It has such a beautiful, very minimal, clean, expensive scent. Um, people have asked me if I like it, and I have to say I do like it. I'm not like obsessed with it, like, oh my god, I love the scent. Uh, but it has a very, very, very clean scent. And what I like about it is just that it just gives you that expensive smell i don't know if you know what i'm talking about but it is there's, there's such a thing but this little egg um i love it because i throw it in my purse and it's like a plastic remove the cap and then you just squirt you just kind of uh press it on the bottom and the foundation the foundation the lotion comes on the top and i just throw it in my purse so moving on i bought three things at um qvc and I first was, this is another impulse buy and I regret it 100%. But I don't return it because it just looks so aesthetically pleasing. And is the Gucci Bloom perfume. This is what it looks like. This perfume is all over Instagram, everywhere on Pinterest. And it's because it's such a cute, mauve pink shade. And then it says Gucci. And a lot of people use it again for flat lay or picture purposes. And I am going to be honest with you. If you love this scent, uh, okay, that's fine. But I hate this scent, you guys. It's hideous. <laughs> this smells like, no joke, my grandma on bougie terms. Like if my grandma was a bougie grandma, this is her scent. Um, it's too florally for me. Um, I've read reviews on it and a lot of people love the scent. A lot of people love that flowery scent, but it's not me. I'm more like a sweet, flirty scent. Um, I sprayed it on my arms and my husband was like, what the hell is that? I was like, that's a Gucci perfume. So unfortunately, I won't be using the perfume, but yes, I will keep it because the bottle is cute. And I can take pictures of the bottle. The next thing about a QVC was the Anastasia foundation along with her um, foundation brush. It was actually a deal that they had. Um, everything came out to like 40, 30, no, 34 dollars. I think it was 34 or 36 dollars. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure how much it came out to, but it was a deal. And I ended up picking up the foundation, but I'm going to be returning the foundation just because it is a very light shade. But I do love this foundation to be like my everyday foundation. Um, and it's just very, very nice. The foundation is amazing. And I tried it before and I was like, I need to buy it. So I ended up picking it up because it was actually with the foundation brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and return it and try to get um, a, a darker shade because the shade that I'm wearing was too light when I come to tanning. The next thing I picked out was actually what I'm using for tanning. I am a tanning freak. I have been tanning for more than 15, 20 years, guys. Um, I will say 20 years. I think I've been tanning for a little bit over 12 years. Um... And I've tried every self-tanner out there. I've tried mousse, I've tried foam, I've tried um, lotion, I've tried mist, I've tried everything. But this one actually kind of changed 
my whole way of looking at tanning. And they're actually drops. They are called the Isles of Paradise Tanning Drops. These are what the uh, um, drops look like. I got the dark self tanning. There are just uh, some drops. And what you do is you apply it with... Um, To apply the drops to your um, favorite moisturizer or you can use the moisturizer from them but this is the tanning I've been using and I love how natural it looks and not only that I just love that um, it has no scent that is amazing it has no scent it doesn't transfer because I have white sheets and um, I'm afraid for them to transfer so that was amazing I was like I'm super excited I'm almost running out so I'm gonna have to order a new set of drops but I've been loving these drops I use it non-stop I use it every two days just to maintain that dark tan but they definitely can use it on a weekly basis because it's just really 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 great really, really. all right so let's move on to the bigger and better things so the first thing I actually end up I started buying once this quarantine hit that I wanted to kind of switch my house around was actually these two things you see back here from Ikea I ended up getting this shelves from Ikea right here. I will do a whole entire different video on it. But I ended up getting these glass shelves from Ikea to kind of give you guys a backdrop to when I film or take my pictures. And I ended up getting this clothing rack as well with the rug. Like I said, I will, um, I will link everything that I bought on this quarantine. I will link it on the description box down below so you kind of, or I will just have a complete blog post on my blog about it. Um, but I ended up getting these two things along with the rug from Ikea just because I kind of wanted to switch up my space and I kind of wanted to be a little bit more clean, more vibrant. So when I started filming and doing photos, I would give you guys a nice background and I actually love the way it turned out. So the next things that I bought guys are going to be from Amazon. Most of the things actually guys are pretty much being used at the moment. So like I said, I'm just going to pop them right here and show you what I got. I'm going to go to my amazon app because i don't remember everything that i have gotten from amazon it's been a very very long time since i purchased these things and i really really don't remember everything i got all right so i'm going to start with da, 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 da. all right so the first thing that i received from uh, amazon was actually this um watch band that is like a leopard watch band or whatever you guys want to call it this is my i my iWatch band. I ended up getting this because I'm obsessed with leopard print and I just love it. So this was the first thing I made, I bought at Amazon. The thing I bought at Amazon was this leopard shirt. I've actually worn it like two or three times, uh, but I love how I love the quality of it. I actually just bought one because I've never bought clothes from Amazon and I wanted to see how good they were. But I have to say the quality of the shirt is super nice and I love how soft the shirt is. And I of course is a leopard um a leopard print and i'm obsessed with so the next thing i ended up getting guys is actually here on my 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 they're actually here on my um drawers they're these clear acrylic drawers um containers dividers organizer or whatever you want to call it i actually ended up buying them exactly for my desk um i didn't i was not planning on using it for jewelry or anything i was actually planning on using it to organize my desk drawer so I will definitely do another video separate on how I organize my desk or what's in my desk. Um, but they came a couple of sizes. This is a little smaller size. I have everything from my from my um, shop here. These are things that I have from my shop. Um, so these are like really, they're not acrylic, I lied. They're plastic and they're very inexpensive. I think they come like six. One, two, three, four, five, five. I have over there six, yeah, I think Six of them come, and they just come in very decent sizes. This is actually the bigger um, uh, uh, size that you have, and you can place it on any door. And I thought it was great because normally the acrylic ones are really, really expensive, but this one was actually very, very inexpensive, guys. I was just, like, obsessed. Um, so the next thing that I ended up getting was, oh, I ended up getting this skirt right here that I have on this picture. I don't show it because it's actually on the, the washing machine at the moment. I wore it for the beach the other day and I love it. I actually love it. I wore it twice already, but this skirt is a maxi skirt and it's just so, so cute. The material is perfect for summer because it's not thick. It's very airy. So it's going to like not give you a lot of um, heat. So the next thing are actually these slippers that are all over um, Instagram. I actually did end up buying them. 
I do have to clean them. I'm a little skeptical about cleaning them because I don't want them to break apart. But I saw a girl on Instagram. She actually washed hers and they came out brand new. Um, I don't know why I picked on this color. Um, I do have tile in my house. So my feet are always dirty. And it doesn't mean that I don't clean my house. I clean my house. We sweep our floors on an everyday basis. Kid you not. For some reason, my floors are always, so, always so dirty. Um, people keep telling me it's because of the construction since we're in a new, um, a new place where they're building new houses, the construction, we always have windows or doors open, the dust comes in, but guys, the hype with these sandals, with these slippers are real. They are the softest slippers I've worn ever. And you can wear them outside because they have like that hard material down, um, under. And I'm obsessed with them. I haven't gotten any other color because they're all sold out everywhere you look at amazon is sold out i will try to link for you down, down if i find anything then the other thing i picked out was actually um a label maker guys i did not know how important a label maker in your household is until you get one i have managed to label at least almost everything in my house because of the label maker i was like i need a label maker in my life i ended up picking this label maker to do stuff for my shop but I've been using it around the house and I'm so excited that I got a label maker. Um, then the next things I got were actually things for my kids bed. I ended up getting this set of um, checker black and white uh, bets, bed sheets for them. Um, kind of like a farmhouse feel. Then I ended up getting this amazing eight piece bed set for my bed. I have a king size bed and this is how it looks. This is the picture how it looks. I am obsessed with the quality of it, guys. I thought it was going to be cheap because I did get it under 60 bucks. I think it was by the time I bought it. And it had eight pieces, but everything is such an amazing quality. It's so, so soft. And I, me and my husband, when we put it in for the first time, we're like, whoa, this is really, really nice. So this is actually amazing because it comes eight pieces. Normally you get three or five, but this one you get eight pieces. Then the next thing I got was actually this for my boy um, because he likes to get my broom and start brooming. And I was like, what the heck? So we ended up picking up this 12 piece set for him to play with. Um, it kind of has like the broom. It kind of has the um, Swiffer, the duster, the bucket, the caution sign. It's pretty, pretty cool. And he plays with it on like an everyday basis. So the next thing I ended up getting guys is these um, pretty, uh, what you want to call it? These pretty, um, uh, what are they called? They're like a random. This the the pearl hair clips, large hair, whatever. These are twelve. They came twelve in a pack, and I'm obsessed. They have every size, every shape, and I love it because I was trying. I'm trying to be more on a girly side, so I was like, let me put some of these clips on and see how it looks. And I love how it kind of makes your whole look come together. Like I could be doing this right now and with my hair down. And it'll look good. But now that I have the clips, it just kind of um set up a little bit. So I was like, I need to get this in my life. Then the next thing I got was actually the rug that you see here. This is the one that I'm using on my living room. A lot of you have asked me on Instagram, where did I get the rug? I actually got a 10, an 8x10 rug for under $130, I think it was. I was just amazed. And I actually love this rug. It's amazing. Then the next thing I got was actually these uh, rugs. These are black hairy rugs, I call them. They're actually my boy's bedroom because I'm kind of going with that white and black feel to their bedroom. So I ended up getting these black rugs for them. Then the following thing I got, guys, was um, this Lobe Miracle Earring Support Patches. Um, I have my earlobes are, uh, this one's stretched and this one's broken, but these were amazing. I did try them for over a week. And I think I've only had to place one patch of them and that's it. And they lasted for a week. I washed my hair and I went to the beach and they were still on place. The bracelets that I got, I love layering bracelets. So this is one of the layered bracelets that came together um, as a pack. Then I ended up getting this twisty one. It is kind of a little big on me, but I just love how it looks, guys. Honestly, it's super, super pretty. Then I ended up getting these rings. Um, all these rings are from Amazon and I will link all of them below. I thought that they were not going to fit. But they ended up being very small and I really need to go up a size. But all these rings I got at Amazon. I am obsessed with the one that I'm mostly obsessed with, guys, is this one right here. It's like a it's like a it's like a rhinestone sort of thing. Um I wish you guys can see it. So the following jewelry I got is my layer necklaces. Kind of want to show you right here off camera. 
These three necklaces, I love layering necklaces and I absolutely love this one. I love the price also. It was under 12 bucks, I think it was. And this is like their gold one. I have like the two rings together and then I have like the plate and then I have like a metal at the end. Um, I love layering necklaces, like that's my thing. And then the last thing guys, that I am obsessed with, <laughs> it's my wallet. It's the, um, it's the dupe to the Louis Vuitton Zamir Abin um, wallet or key wallet, key wallet, keyless, whatever it's called. I love this little thing. This was under $20 and it carries everything in here. It's my wallet. I get to put my car keys in here and this is what I use when I go out and I don't need my purse. I'm obsessed with this, guys. I'm going to leave the link to this down below because it's so pretty and definitely looks just like you're using a Louis Vuitton, but actually you did not break the bank. Anyways, guys, so if you made it to the end of this video, give yourself a round of applause because you did it. <laughs> I can't believe I did it. Um, yeah, guys, so those are the things I actually bought at Amazon. I feel like I'm Amazon. I bought in my quarantine um, like quarantine made me buy sort of thing. Um, I kind of wanted to stay in budget. Uh, I did not want to break the bank. Um, but I did want it to buy stuff for my room, myself, clothing wise and whatever. So I ended up just getting a few things. Um, but anyways, guys, if you like the video, please don't give it a, please don't just, yes, yes. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you do. I will be doing more videos on an, on a weekly basis for you guys now that I have a backdrop and now that things are coming back to normal, um, back to normal. Um, but I'll be able to have a schedule for you guys when it comes to my uploads. Let me know in the comments below what else um, you would like me to record. And also, if you did have a quarantine buy, like a quarantine shopping spree, let me know on the comments below what you got because I love always looking at other people's like what they bought and kind of have ideas and buy them for myself. Anyways, guys, I gotta go. I have stuff to do. Thank you so much for watching. Muchos besos. I'll see you all on my following video. Adios.